Thanks for checking out Spider Guy TV, the Spider Guy.net, and the Roadsource.com. I am just going to rehouse my Regalis colony. We um, started out with quite a few. There's one right there. Um, see if we can see any more. Alright, not any out right there. There's one guy right there. Um, we started out with nine, and we've gone down a number a bit, but I think we uh, still have five or six. Can't really see, but there's a few down right in there. So, yeah, we're rehousing that. We've got this container right here, six and a half inch deli, um, 80 ounce size. Thanks to Jim Muggleston for that. Um, so we can see all kinds of high use in that container outside. Um, there we go. I'm just gonna. Add a little bit of base to that so we can hold moisture in. After um, trying out a lot of different things, I found that vermiculite and cocoa fiber work out really well. I'm just going to pat that down so if they want to burrow, it'll going to stay together for them. So we get a firm layer and then we'll just get a loose layer because they like to play around with crap. There we go. There's that. I'll stick that in there because a lot of times what they'll do is they'll run, come in, they'll run out. Run out that side and just go right down in there. So, and I have this little piece of cork bark. What I've got in here is just a little flat piece of cork stuff. That's not going to be good enough for them. So what I'll do is I'll stick this cork bark in there after I get them in. So, actually what I'm going to do right here is... Not break my spider roll, which I just did. I'm gonna stick my finger in. Make some little some little hidey spots. Hopefully that helps them out. It might not at all. You always when you're handling spiders, you think something's gonna work and then they let you know otherwise. So basically I know there's at least five. I'm gonna go one at a time and see how it works and it's gonna be fun because I'm holding the camera. So here we are. I'm gonna go like this. And I got my pen. That's how I'm going to coerce them. He says he'd like to just go back in. I'd say I'd like you not to do that. If that was any different to you. I'm just going to lift that up. Okay, I think we got one runner.
see we got one guy down here on the side exploring few in there, I decided to stay in there. We're going to take care of this guy first. Of course, not easy. Another one. Gone. Let's do this. Just dump that guy in. That worked okay. So, we've got one, two, three. I'm not real happy with that substrate. I'll have to dig that out. And I got two more in here that need to come out. Let's see, where are they? There's one. They're just gonna run away from me all night. I think since they're in there, we're just gonna back to this real quick. Just gonna take this out. I think that's it's gonna be pretty nice right there, like that. Okay, capture time. This might work out. Very nice. That's one. in there while I get this other stuff out. Okay, let's see. See him down there. This is the smallest one. These guys are pretty actively moving around, so we're just gonna do that. And debating. I wonder what the best way is to get this guy going. Now he's there. Got ourselves a box of vials. Let's grab a vial. Hopefully this will work. Try, try again. There's our 
smallest regalis. You can see in there, there are quite, the other guys are quite a bit larger compared to this guy. This guy has barely grown, I would say. So, about five. Started with nine. We're down to five. I'm okay with that. If I lose any more, we're going to take them out and separate them until we can get a sack. We have a lot, but there you go. Thanks for checking us out. Spider Guy TV, theroachsource.com. Feed these guys on roaches. Dubias and lobster roaches seem to be quite a favorite. We're going to get some Turkestan Red Runners, hopefully this weekend, um, at our local show. And I will in the future be offering those. So check us out at spiderguy.net or theroachsource.com if you need any types of roaches. We will be providing a lot of roaches. We already sell massive amounts of dubias and lobsters. In the future, we hope to at least have a ton of hissers and red runners. And maybe others. We'll see. Have a good one. One more peek at the colony. Oh, yeah, I love colonies the best. Those are so cool. And you notice how they all dug into the holes that we put. Spiders, they just love to find a place to retreat. So it is actually pretty easy to handle them, even though if these guys bit me, it would hurt like crap. Anyway, have a good night.